While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Sis, what's your name? Brianna? Come on up here, sis. No, you can come over here. Do you, under, do you understand that you, what we explained it to the brother right here? You have two children? Okay, so what we explained it to the brother is, what would you say your nationality is? Okay, so that, well, that's what we was explaining. Some people don't know, some people say black, some people say a lot of things, but what we are here to do is to show you that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's what we was just going over with the brother. We was going over curses that it was prophesied that would be put on us as a nation of people for breaking God's commandments. And we still suffer from the curses to this day. We still suffer from the curses to this day. So what we got to do is under, we finna read the curses so you can agree and identify with you that these curses fit us as a people. Read, read verse 32 again. Verse 32, uh -huh. thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. So it say that our sons and our daughters will be given to another nation of people. And there will be no might in our hands to get our kids back, right? So do you agree that that happened to our people as a nation of people? That our sons and our daughters give it to another nation of people? That happened back then? Do you agree that that happened today? In today's society? Give me an instance. Uh, just, just think of one instance where you can think of that our kids are taken away from us and given to another nation of people and, and, and that we don't have any might to get them back. You said, you said, you said, who is... Hold on, sis. We go, uh, you said so they make. Right, so, so, so do you, uh, do you think that you can be able to, uh, kill a child? You think you can kill a child? If you want to? You think that's godly? Give me that, no, sir. Listen, we go read it out the Bible. This is this is why, sis, it is important that we must come back to the Bible. Everything come with instructions. When you even go buy a fan from Walmart and you pull it out the box, listen, listen. Yes, they do out of the Bible. Yeah. Okay, so so uh, you say kids don't come with instructions. So when kids come into the world, they just go off on their own and raise themselves. And, and who raised them? And do you get them instruction? So you don't you don't tell them don't go out don't steal none don't don't cuss nobody out don't rob nobody is those instructions? Okay, everything come with instructions, sis. Just like the Bible is our instructions as a nation of people. Now let me give you, give you a commandment because you we don't supposed to kill nothing. Read this. The book of Exodus, chapter twenty and verse thirteen. Bring it on. Thou shall not kill. Thou shall not do what? Kill. So if you go to an abortion clinic and you get the baby sucked out of you, is that killing? Is that murder? They, they chop them up first. Yeah, first they got to cut the arm. They go in there, they cut the arms off, cut the other arms off, cut the legs off, then suck the rest of the body out. That is brutality murder, sis. That's cold. The thing about it is you, 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 make, you don't wait till you get to the abortion bed to decide if you want to have a child or not. That's you right. do that in the bedroom before you That's lay down right. with that man Bring if you want to have a child or not. I know what she was saying, that the white people was trying to come and make laws to tell them what to do with their body. But the white... Read, hold on, read that again. Read that again. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not kill. It say thou should not kill. 
So it don't matter what the situation is, you don't have the power to kill. And God, who created us, who created the heavens, who created everything under the earth and everything in the ocean and the seas, he said don't kill. That's a commandment. So we have to abide by that commandment. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18 and verse 21. Uh -huh. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire of Molech, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God. I am the Lord. So when you do that, you allow, uh, you, first of all, you in the midst of sin. Right. Because you're going in there and you murdering a child that the Most High God created. Right. God yeah. sent that spirit into the earth. You don't have any authority to say, I want to get rid of what God has created. That's the first thing. Second thing, you are in the midst of the sin because the Bible said don't do it. So the third thing is you have to understand how to live as an Israelite and to govern yourself and come back as a nation of people so you don't have the mindset as you have and say, well, I think I could just kill my kid if I want to. But you don't understand that's an American mindset. America say you can do what you want to do. It's just the land of free. You, you can kill, you can do whatever. That's, it's, it's all up to you. But that's not according to God. So we have lost our heritage. We have been discontinued from our heritage. So now we just run around with the mindset we can do as we please. But up. that's not according to the Bible. Right. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30 and verse 17. But if thine heart turn away, verse 19, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death. So Moses said he called before you. He has set before the Israelites, us. That's who we are. We the Israelites. He set before us life and death. Read. Blessing and cursing. Blessings and curses. Because when we read in Deuteronomy, all the way from 1 to 14, those was the blessings that would happen to the Israelite if we obeyed the commandments. Bring it up. And then it said, and curses. So if you do not listen to God, curses will come upon you. And that's what happened to us. With that mindset, we, that's because we are a cursed people, sis. Read. Therefore, choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. So it say, choose life, that thou and thy seed will live. So not only you, the baby that's inside your stomach will live as well if you choose in life. And that's God's commandments. We have to come back to God's commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.